Hello everyone, Fru here. Welcome to today's presentation. So in today's presentation, we are going to look at the differences between the T-Join and the T-Map components in Talon. The T-Map is arguably one of the most versatile components in Talon. It allows us to uh, connect to a main source and we can do lookups against uh, multiple different sources. And as part of that, we can do uh, validations, we can do transformations, and we can have many outputs coming out of the team map. So very powerful and very versatile. The T join is also a very important component in talent. It does what the name says, joining data from two different sources. But the question is, what are those differences between a T map and a T join? And when should we think about using a T map versus when should we think about using a T join? In today's video, we're going to dive in deep. We're going to look at some examples and then really present those differences that exist between the T-Map and the T-Join. That said, we're going to switch over to the studio environment. And on my screen, I have this job we've been using as an example uh, in a couple of videos. Uh, this particular job gets uh, customer information. It gets the orders. It aggregates the uh, orders for each customer, and then we do a join. So if I look at my team map, uh, it's basically a, a team map where we're doing a lookup from my order table to my customers. And this is an inner join uh, happening. Out of that, we have, uh, we're filtering to uh, actually three outputs. Uh, and depending on the, some criteria here for the customer number, we're routing to this output. And depending on the criteria here for non-matches, we're routing to that. And then at the very end, we're routing to rejects. And then we're also catching the output uh, rejects uh, that are true. So very powerful. Um, and it really shows us the full uh, capabilities of a team app. So if I go ahead and I run this uh, job, uh, it should you know produce the results. Now, what I've seen here is a team app being used to do joins. But we know that the T join also exists. Could we have accomplished this same task with the T join instead of the T map? Uh, T map, and that's the question we want to address. So, if I go back into a new job, I've just created a new job here. It's blank. Uh, the components are pretty much the same. Our input components. We have orders. We're doing some aggregations. So we have customers. So we need to join those two so we can figure out the customers, what the what basically what the customers are ordering. So here I'm going to start typing and I'm going to do a T join. So this allows me to bring the T join component to the screen. So I'm using the T join here in place of the T map. So here is a T map. Here I'm using the T join. So that's in place of the T map. So let's zoom in here for a second. All right. So now we can connect the orders that are coming in. So very similar to the way we're connecting to a T map. We're connecting to the T join. Now I can connect my uh, customers. All right, and it, it looks very similar. All right, so I have my row, I rows uh, two, and I have um, my lookup. So very similar to a T map. So you have your main, and then you have your lookups. All right. So let me actually rename this so that the names are as similar, just for the sake of it. And then here, I want to rename this as my uh, customers. All right. So this, for the most part, is where those similarities end. Because unlike the T-join, what I, I could do for the T-join is I can have another input, and I just made a copy of that. And I can connect that input here. And so I can have one main coming in, and I can have multiple inputs. So one main to n number of inputs, right? I don't really think there's a limit. You can put as many inputs as you want. So the question is, can I do the same thing here? All right. So if I make a copy of that, can I equally go ahead and connect that here? And the answer is no. All right. So quickly you can start seeing, or we can start seeing what the differences are. So for a T join, a T join, we can connect just one main to one lookup. If we have more than that, then we cannot do it all right whereas in the t map we can connect one main to as many lookups as we want so that's already the first sign that there are differences okay now if we continue back into the t join i'm joining the main 
to my uh, customers if i uh, go in uh, into the uh, t join unlike the t map i cannot there is no editor that pops up in front of me to edit the t join so all i have is what we have on the screen here but in the t map if i click on this it brings me a very robust editor to do my mapping and you can see that just at a glance i don't think anybody needs to call this out is it seems like there's way more things i can do here versus you know the team uh, join where all i have is to work on this area so let's continue down the path of the t join and actually join see how we can join these two data sets uh, this is what we have so what i'm going to do here is I'm going to take my input key attribute and then there's a lookup key attribute, which makes sense because we're joining the main to the lookup. We can only have a main and a lookup. So I'm going to add this. And I think it's already smart enough to know that, all right, my main attribute is customer number and my lookup is uh, uh, customer number. So those are the two similar columns. If I were to add another column, I don't really have any other column to join with. But if you had multiple columns to join with, you can certainly go ahead and include those columns uh, in your join. All right. So in this case, let's just keep the single column uh, which we have here. So customer number for my main as the orders and I'm doing a lookup to my uh, customer number in the customer data set. And then we can, of course, go ahead and edit the output attributes and to see what those at out output attributes are. So for the output, we're going to just write that to the screen. And from here, I can say the output will be the main. All right. And if I run this job, let me actually add another output just and I'll explain this in a little bit. So T log row. So out of the, the T join, I can get a second output, which is the inner join rejects. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'll run this job and you will notice that no records are going to come here and I'm going to explain why and then we'll fix it later on. All right. So let's go ahead and run this job. OK, so as expected, there are no records coming here in the rejects. Uh, we have the 13 records coming in here and uh, no records coming in the rejects. But this is not actually uh the case this is not actually what we want because uh we're doing a join but as we can remember from the data set we worked with there are some records in here that shouldn't be joining so like 15 which is coming from the orders so this is the id customer number 15 we know for sure that that doesn't exist in here in the in the customer information so what is happening to the to that record we don't know but we want to catch that record that should be a reject all right and so that's so this clearly is a problem all right and the way we fix that is i'm going to come back into the t uh, join and i'm going to say uh, this checkbox here this is what we want to check to say uh, inner join with reject output so we're doing an inner join all right and then when there are rejects we're sending that into this output. So now I should expect to see maybe I think about what? Uh, three records or so coming out there. Yeah, three records because 10 minus. Yeah, so about three records coming coming there. So this is what we expect to see going into those rejects. So you're thinking about like your typical. Yep. So we have the 10 records uh, going up on the screen and then we have those three records being written uh, down uh, here on the screen. All right. And to be honest, this is really about the most we can do uh, with the T join. We can, you know, we can maybe include the output columns. Uh, we can include the output columns uh, from um, the lookup. All right. And change the column names and such all right you can give it a column name so but this is not a very powerful uh powerful customization we can go in there as well uh, map all of those and those uh propagate those changes those schemas and that just is going to show a result uh for us but overall not very um 
not very powerful i would say compared to to what we saw in the t joint which not only can we join more than one uh, main to many lookups so you can imagine you have a scenario where we're looking at customers we're looking at location we're looking at the date dimension we're looking at other dimensions we can do all of those joints here whereas in the t join sure we can join two inputs but there's really not much to it there's really not there's really not um there's really not much to it i don't see it as being very uh as much robust all right if we're just doing a quick certain join that we know what we're doing sure it works 100 percent, it works but if we're trying to do more robust transformations then the t join uh for short right so in that case we definitely want to look at the t map not only can the t map join multiple inputs it can give us as many outputs as we want which is what we define here so if you're not sure about what this how we build all of this particular job just check around there is a video that is a, a deep dive on the team map and that video will explain all of what uh, was involved in building this job all right guys so there you have it i hope this gives us some ideas of the differences between those two components uh just to summarize back if we go back to do a summarization of this the differences between the t-join and the t-map components in talent uh here is a list i've compiled uh, for us all right I it's a little bit of a uh, crowded on the screen but i hope we can read through this and make sense out of it so number one the t-map can have many output links compared to t-join which only has the main and the reject links all right so i think that's pretty uh pretty straightforward in terms of what that means so t map can have many output links but the t join can only have two which is the main and the rejects next thing uh is the t map again the most versatile one supports writing expressions on the columns while providing the joining conditions whereas the t join uh, only supports exact matches between the keys so just to recap or what that means is in the t map we can come in here and we can have expressions in here i had a whole elaborate list of expressions uh conditionals which can we can include uh to direct what data set goes into what output all right so we can have that in the t map but in a t join not so much a t join just gives us basic you know column to column exact match if it's if that's not the case it gets rejected so there is that's definitely uh a differences in, in the characteristics third the team map supports the storage of lookup data on disk all right but not necessarily for the t join so if we bring this back again on the screen uh we can see within the t map let me go back to the t map as part of the configuration as part of the configuration of the t map i can store data to disk so this temp storage is data to disk so if imagine you're doing a lookup it could depending on the structure of your data or the skew of your data you might have a, a big lookup table which you want to read from say a database store it to disk and then just use it for lookup versus having to go back to the source and pull it all back so you have more fine grain control over that uh using the t map versus the t joint where you don't really have that ability to persist that or to to save it to disk which can, can really speed up the process all right so continuing the t map allows you to reload the lookup data for each main record i think pretty straightforward whereas the t join doesn't right i could keep going on and on the t map is really proving to be uh, more powerful here so with the t map you can change the lookup model here uh, load once load each row load at each row and so kind of caching that you cannot really control that kind of lookup scenario with a t join but you can in a t map all right going down the t map supports more type of data model including unique joins first join all joins so your left other join or whereas a t join supports only the unique join okay so let's go back uh in here and we can see that if you go into the team map we can control the kind of joins that needs to happen so inner join left left join uh left outer join basically all right and uh the match model we can also control that to say unique match first match all matches you can control that but in the 
in the T joint, if we go back to the T joint, we don't see any kind of control as such. All right. Let's go to number six. The T map allows you to link multiple lookup flows to it and supports loading multiple lookup flows in parallel. T joint only accepts one lookup flow. I think we've talked about that already. Uh, last but not least, the T map supports the die on error option, whereas the T joint doesn't. All right, guys. All I right. hope this was helpful. So there you have it. We've gone through the differences between the T joint and the T map. It's kind of a lot. Uh, for me personally, uh, and for most use cases, I think the T-Map provides more versatility. It's pretty self-evident that the T-Map can give us a lot more versatility. But if you're really just going to do quick join lookup without any need for any additional transformations or validations, absolutely the T-Join could be helpful in that case. But this article does provide us the differences, and I think the unique situations that you face might really detect or dictate which one of this is going to make sense for your personal needs or for the needs of the team. All right, guys, thanks for joining. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if there are any questions, don't hesitate to jump into the comment section below and leave those. I'll be more than happy to respond to that.